If you need to upload stems or track outs to your beat store or send them to someone, then this is the video you need. I'm gonna walk you through the exact process and settings you need to use to get this done fast and get it done the right way. But before we go on a rampage because someone hurt our dog, I've got a question for you. That question is, should you upload dry stems or wet stems to your beat store? Leave your answer down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. Just stay tuned. Let's get into it. First of all, let's give you a little preview of this beat. Not too long, but let's go through it so, you, so that you can hear what we're working with. This is called Ray Cookie. That's enough. You want to hear the full beat, link down below to my beat store in the description. You can buy the beat, all that sort of great stuff. So let's show you how this is done. First of all, you want to select the area of the beat that you want to export. Do this by right clicking at the end of the area and then dragging it to the beginning of the beat like so. As you can see, this is the full beat and our volume automation ends here. Also, before you even start the export, I suggest you go to your track. This is even more important if you're using templates like my beat mixing template or a template that you've created yourself. My beat mixing templates, links in the description down below, by the way. Go to the tracks that you're not using in this particular beat. Tracks that you've named and have set up effects on. Right click, rename them. At the beginning of the track, use brackets, write NU, and then use another bracket to close it off. The reason why you're doing this is because sometimes FL Studio will export these stems of these tracks that you're not using because you've named them and have added effects to them and stuff like that. So go through your beat and make sure that you've added this to the tracks that you're not using. The reason why we want to use brackets is so that these tracks, if they're exported at stems, will be at the top of our list and they won't be hard to find. Also, the term NU just means not used. You can basically write whatever you want. This is just the the easiest way that I found so I suggest you go with that path. Now on the actual exporting process the first thing you want to do is go to file then go to export go to wave file. At this point you want to go to where you're going to export this beat. I suggest you set up different folders for your untagged webs, tagged mp3s and your stem folders. Now I've created this folder that we're going to export our stems into we want to go into it and then rename this file to the name of the beat and then stems. Then press save. And then this is what we wanna do with the settings. But before we get into that, if you wanna learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch, you can use my free easy nine step trap beat making formula inside my free course. And that will teach you how to go from creating your melody all the way to mastering your beats. And you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this free course because it won't be available forever. Links down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course to join it right now. Now let's get back into this video. Now, these are the settings you wanna use. Set the mode to song selection. Set the tell to leave remainder. Click WAV. WAV bit depth, you want it on 24 bits. You also want this to be stereo. Resampling, 32 point sync. You can move it up if you want, but I just do 32 point sync and that generally works out. HQ for all plugins. Disable maximum polyphony. You can basically just pause the video and enter these settings. Then save tempo information. Split mixer tracks. This is the most important setting because this is what's actually going to give you those stems or track outs if that's what you call them. But in this video, we're going to refer to them as stems and then you also want to enable insert effects for stems with effects and if you want to export dry stems you'll basically 
unenable this and then your stems will be dry. Remember, we asked the question earlier whether you should export dry stems or wet stems or stems with effects and I'll be answering that later so stay tuned. At this point, you just want to click start. So we're actually going to go through this entire process. So hit start and then I'll meet you on the other side. That's just exported. At this point, we'll go to the folder where we exported our stems and here, as you can see, we've got a bunch of files. So we're going to elongate this so that we can see what's here. And luckily, none of the tracks that we're not using have been exported. So we don't need to worry about that. But if that does happen, you just want to delete those tracks and then move on to the next step. Right about now, what we want to do is delete the current track because the current track is basically the same as the master track. So we'll delete that. We don't need that twice. Keep the master track so that it lets people understand how the beat was originally supposed to sound. And then everything else you want to highlight, right click, go to send to and go to compressed zip folder. You'll need to do this in order to upload your stems to a site like BeatStars or whatever beat store service you're using usually. And it just makes it easier for people to download and then export from the folder. It's also great to do this if you're sending it to someone so that you're not sending multiple files and that they can download this zip folder and then unzip it on their own platform. If they don't know how to do that, I've got a video on how to export zip files on my channel and you can send them that once this is done name it beat name stems so it's easily identifiable now your stems are ready to upload or send wherever you need to send them now let's answer that question now asked you earlier that question was should you upload dry stems or stems with effects to your beat store the answer is you want to upload stems with effects the reason being most people do not know how to mix especially if they're an artist and they want stems they're usually going to want stems in order to to set the levels so that they can make certain things louder and certain things quieter or to change the structure of the beat to suit the song that they're making. Most people will not be buying your stems in order to send them to an engineer who will mix them from scratch. And even in that respect, if they want dry stems, they will contact you and ask for dry stems. And at that point, you can then export those dry stems and send them over. The majority of people will want the stems with effects. So the best practice is to upload those stems with effects. Now, there's a lot of great stuff in the description down below. So I highly suggest you check that out as well as my beat mixing templates, which will have your beat sounding professional and half mix before you even get to the mixing stage. But before we go, let's do a quick recap. You want to set area that you want to export. Make sure you name any tracks that you're not using with the brackets at the, at the front. Then go to file export, go to wave file, set the settings, create your folder, go into that folder, name it beat name stems, set the correct settings that I've showed you in this video, delete the tracks you're not using, delete the current track, send your stems to a zipped folder and then upload. If you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.